In this tutorial, I want to look at creating a crankshaft in synchronous technology. So where we'll start is with a sketch. And I can move over this plane, hit the F3 key to lock it. And um, just start adding my sizes. Um, Control H takes me through to the um, sketch view. So change the size and um, have it vertically below the other one. I can place a dimension between the two. And this one's basically three and a half. And then I'll use the line command. Um, clicking on a point that's not on the um, key point allows me to create my um, tangency. And just hovering over the um, circle at the right point gives me tangency at both ends and then I can use my trim command and just get rid of these portions that I don't want so turn off the sketch plane lock and select the region and um, drag it shift key to turn off the symmetry and we'll just go 19 mils now I'd like to do some profiling so I'll use the um, tangent arc and I shall again lock to a plane and I want to take it from here I want the arc size to be 195 to that top edge and I'll just use some lines to um, make that into a um, region which allows me to cut it away. I'll also do the same at the bottom. So doing these regions allows me to um, cut it away. And as you can see, if I um, hit the escape key, click on the region, and um, shift key to take it in both directions, the size of it doesn't really matter. And again, at the top, I can do the same thing. So that's created um, my profile. If I um, fence select this and I can choose on the copy command, if I drag this off and then if I reposition that steering wheel um, on this edge here, um, hold the shift key down and go on the plane. I can then rotate this 180 degrees I then need to place a dimension at the bottom so we have top being angled so probably not the best, best place to put it so now that I've got my dimension on there um, I need to uh, go back to the select command, just select this half of it, and um, I can then click on the dimension tool. And this needs to be um, just as on, and that will move that whole section in. So now I need to add in a circle onto here so this needs to be um, 76 and then again I can pick up on the region and drag that out in one direction
this one here needs to be um, actually three and a half. And for this one, I will just drag it out a small distance. Now I need to do my next one. I can just do a fence select on the whole thing. And if I um, position on the edge here, I can just drag this out using the copy key. I'm not overly worried about the um, position at this stage. And again, if I um, get that into the right orientation. Um, what I also need to do is rotate this around. So if I make this um, 120 degrees, and again go back to the copy command, drag it out a certain distance and this one needs to be taken another um, 120 degrees so that's given me my um, generic sort of positioning uh, let's hide these dimensions for the moment um, Again, what I need to do is I need to place a dimension uh, between here and here. And again, from here to here. So fence select that area and click on the right hand side of this dimension and this time we want to have this dimension as being um, 55 millimeters so that gets that into place and now I want to get the other two and move those so if I click on this dimension here this one also wants to be 55. So that gets it all into position. Now all we need to do is join it up. So if I pick up on this face here and click the drag direction and it needs to just come up to that face there. And likewise with this one. So there we have our, um, our crankshaft. Now comes the tricky bit in most sort of systems. Um, if we want to change those sizes, um, we just need to adjust that those dimensions as we did just now. So um, if we come back to our um, BMI, um, you see we've got these values in here. Um, if we decided that that gap needed to be um, a bit more precise, we can click up and select all of this area here and change that to being, say, 50. So nothing else is changing. It's just um, that distance between. And again, we could do the same to tie this one to the other one. So actually getting the whole thing um, into position and resizing is really simple with synchronous technology.